Hello everyone, in this video we are going to start the NX surface modeling. So in this very first video of the same module, we are going to start this module from through curves. So let's start understanding the through curve command. So here is the command of through curve and it is going to create a body through multiple sections where the shape changes to pass through each section. So to precise this definition, understanding is simple that we need curves in different direction or in the same direction but this command doesn't require any guide so we are going to perform this operation or this command without the guide it will automatically trace the sections along which the sections are moving okay now let's understand with very basic so here is the commands dialog box the very first option is regarding the sections we need to select the sections which are currently in the graphics window then we will understand about the continuity but as we are going to make it simple first then we are going to jump to the advanced level of this command so we are going to start with learning the basic understanding principle of how this command works now let's start with the through curves with the sections now here i have the choice like you can read here select curve or point so i do have this choice like i can either choose a point or the curve now i am going to select the curve directly from the graphics window this is the curve this is the first curve and this is going to be the second curve now there is a twist between selection of both the curves right here you can see the add new section whenever you are going to select a new section you have to click here or just press mb3 mb3 is the scroll bar button in the layman language we say as uh, scroll bar button however it is mouse button 3 which is the middle button of the mouse so either you can click here or you can press the mb3 so i'm going to press the mb3 now this curve has been stored in the memory of the through curve like you can see in the section list this is the section 1 and whenever you are going to click on section 1 it is going to change its color into the orange and if you are going to click on new it will get changed to green color so this is the basic understanding like how the colors are working into this particular command now i want to store this into the memory of the section list so just simply click it so i'm going to click it from here now why i have clicked here instead from here because i want to show you the error that the output is self intersecting now what is the possible cause the possible cause is that the direction of the flow is not unique as you can see this is here and this is here so just double click here and you will get the rectification of this surface as simple as that there is nothing to worry about like uh, if i get this kind of surface so i'm just going to close the command and then rerun the command so no need to rerun just have the double click on this vector and the surface will be get rectified so this is how you can use the basics and you can add some more sections here by clicking the plus icon here or just hit the mb3 on the mouse now i want to store this value just click on this and it will get stored now the twist is here that this is the section 1, this is the section 2 and this is the section 3 which is the wrong practice. The proper order should be either from left to right or right to left. It shouldn't be like this. If this is going to be the section 1 then I'll go to the right for the section 2 and then jump to the left for the section 3. This is the wrong practice and we must avoid this. The proper practice is section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4 or section 1 section 2 section 3 and then section 4 either from left to right or right to left so be aware about the selection about the color about the order and about the surface orientation vector which is this one so this is the basics of through curve now i'm going to generate a surface using these four sections now just again go to through curves command and here I am going to select the first curve press mb3 
then select the second curve, press MB3 and notice here the direction vectors are going to be in the same direction which is from this, then from this and I'm going to perform the selection for this curve from here. So this is the third section and this is the fourth section. And each time after storing the value of each section, I am hitting the MB3. So these are some of the key points. I will also write down the key points in the end of this video so that you can master the through curves command. So this is the basic and now directly comes to the alignment options. Here we will get the certain alignments for the surface generation. So here the very first one is the parameter. It is going to align the isoparametric curves at equal parameter intervals along the section. So this is something which you can analyze on your own. You just have to go to the menu, then go to insert, then go to derived curves and then jump to the isoparametric curves and you can plot the UV curves on the surface to understand the direction or flow of the surface. Next is arc length, which is going to be somehow similar to each other. It depends on the flow of the isoparametric curves which are flowing on the joining surfaces or the surfaces. So it will automatically align themselves. You can have the practice on your own regarding these options for the isoparametric curves and I have also mentioned how you can plot the isoparametric curves on the surface through menu then insert then go to the derived curves and there you will find the option of the isoparametric curves. Now directly jumps to the by point. So this is something which we can have the real practice here. Now you can see there will be the generation of the certain points which I can control on the surface like this. Now some user may have the thought that so this is all what I can do with the by points but that is not enough. You can also plot the points like this. I can plot the point. So I can just move the surface from here to here also. So this is the flexibility regarding the by points and I can insert more points like this. So this is all up to you that how much quality you need into the surface using the through curve command with the by point options. And if I just change the option to the angle, so just select this vector in which the surface is flowing and then the point. So this is regarding the angle, but I prefer to use the parameter with the through curve because this is the simplest command regarding the surface generation and the through curve is the very basic. And then we have some modifications regarding these commands. We have the through curve mesh, then we have swept, then we have the studio surfaces. So these are some kind of uh, advanced version of the through curves. So I do prefer to use the parameter and then you can also turn on the option of the preserve shape. Now what is preserve shape? Suppose if I just click on OK and uh, you can see there is a particular edge here which is highlighting. So if I just uh, put an arrow here and now you can see this is an edge. I want to give the edge plan to this. So I just take the edge plan command and just go to this edge. You can see this is not getting highlighted. Why so? Because the preserve shape option was not turned on. So for that just right click and then go to the edit with rollback on the through curves. Then click on preserve shape. Click on OK. Then go to the edge plan and then now you can select the particular edge. So these are some kind of minute details which are there in the command. So you have to be just stay tuned to this tutorial to master the through curve command. Now. This is the simplest form of generating the surface using the through curve command. Now we will understand the later options which are regarding the continuity. Now this is what we have done and we have understood the basics of this. Now let's jump to the next options which is tangency. Now I'm just going to hide this and uh, I'm going to also hide this feature group and turn on the feature group of these two surfaces. Now I have these two surfaces which are in different directions like this is moving in the Z direction and this is moving in the Y direction. And I want to just uh, generate our surface between both of them but having the tangency with each of the surface. So just go to the through curve command and here I'm just going to select this edge. Now, now some of you may have the confusion like uh, this is going to apply only on curve 
or on Hatch as well. So for that, we have a very good option regarding that, which is top or bar. So currently you can see my mouse is sliding at a particular location. This bar is said to be as yes, top border bar. Now just go to the no selection filter and here these are the features which you can use into this selection. If I just click on this, but make sure to highlight this and then go to the no selection filter. So these are some of the choices which I can make for this particular selection. The very first one is the curve. Then we have curve feature, edge, face, point, sketch. So these are all the options which can be get stored into the memory of sections. The basics of this learning is very simple. I am not here to let you understand only about the command. That this is the command and you can just do the perform several options or operations with such these commands. My motive is that the learnings of Siemens and X and how the user going to interact with the software or how the software is interacting with the user. So to make it simple, what Siemens and X has done, they have put the top order bar and in the selection filter, you have the choice which is going to directly reflect in the real time on the window that these are the options which you can select into your selection of particular command. Like if I just go to the studio surface, I do not know what to select in this. So I just highlight that particular option, which like I have selected here and then go to the top order bar and in here we will get the options and what to select here. So this is the simplest thing which one could learn from the software. Now let's continue with this through curves and I'm going to pick this edge, add MB3, then pick this edge, add MB3. Now these both values have been stored to confirm that I can go to the section list. This is the section one and this is the section two. And if I just reverse the direction, you can see cannot create B surface by through curves by so because the direction is not correct. So I'm going to just reverse the direction by having the double click on that particular arrow. Now here I'm going to have the option regarding the continuity. The very first one is the tangent and then we have the curvature. Curvature means to have more tangency with the surface and tangent is somehow to flow with that particular surface. So these are some minute or depth in detail regarding the surface continuity. So G1, G0 is the position only that this is going to make a straight line. And if I just go to the G1 tangent, now it will ask you for the surface that which surf that about what surface you want the tangency. And this is the section one. If some user forgot that what section was that regarding the section one, either this was the section one or this was the section one. So simple is that. Just open the section list, then click on the section one and it will highlight in the graphics window that this is the section one. Now just select the face and I'm going to select the blue face about which I'm going to have the tangent. So this is the tangency and uh, for this I'm going to choose the curvature. So this is going to be curvature. Now you can see this is, this is going to be more linear and then it is going to have the curvature. And if I just click on the tangent, now you can see this will have the tendency with respect to this surface. However, in the curvature, it will follow the periphery or the surface flow of the selected face. So this is how we can have the relation regarding the tangent and the curvature. And here we will again have the isoparametric curves and how the flow is going to take place on the newly generated surfaces. Like is this going to have the isoparametric curve or the perpendicular isoparametric curve. You can analyze with both these options like just click on the isoparametric curve then click on OK then go to menu then go to insert then go to the derived curve and then hit the isoparametric curve then places the UV directional curves then you'll let your then you'll get the difference between both of these options what is isoparametric and what is the perpendicular option regarding the flow direction. So that is all regarding the through curve. Now it's time to have to recap that what we have learned in this through curve command. The very first thing which we have learned is it requires multiple section. A single section is not going to be good enough to generate the surface using the through curve. 
two or more than two curves are required, then how we can perform the selection for the sections, how we can store multiple sections into the section list. Then we have also analyzed the direction for the generation of the surface, like how to reverse the direction of the surface vector. Then we have analyzed the preserve shape option. Then we have analyzed the alignment. And at last, we have just understood about the continuity. What are the G0 position? What is G1 tangent? What is G2 curvature? So that is all. And this completes the through curve command. If you still have any confusion regarding this command, you just have the comment box open for you. And I will wait for any confusion if you've had. So that is all. If you have learned something new from this video, please do hit a like, share this video. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.